Hey guys, this is Marja here on YouTube. Today I have a teeny itty bitty haul for all of you. That was a complete mouthful for me. Um, I have a little haul for you from Sleek. I, um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know Sleek is one of my favorite um, high street uh, brands. So yeah, I bought a few palettes and a few things that I thought you guys might be interested in. Because I haven't seen them feature them a lot here on YouTube, so I just wanted to show you all of them. I was going to wait and do my BH Cosmetics and Elf and everything like that haul with my sick ones, but since that haul was already big, I decided to stay low for a while, wait for all of the things from Sleek to get in, and then I will do a haul later on with that. So that is what I'm going to do today. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think seven palettes that I got. Um, two of them are just repeat because I'm gonna give them as gifts. And I got this little thing. This is an eyeliner, which is an eyeliner sealer from Natural. This is a brand, I think it's only sold here in Costa Rica. I'm not really sure. Um, this is basically a mixing medium, like the MAC one or the makeup store Liquid Mix, I think it's called. Uh, mixing Liquid, I think. I don't know. So, yeah, I just got that as well. And I'm just gonna jump right into Sleek. First thing, and the most important thing of them all, is my Face Contour Kit Pressed Contouring Powder and Highlighter in one. Um, if you guys have seen my tutorials and me featuring this product, you can probably tell mine is running low. Really, really low. So, I decided I needed to get a new one. And I finally got it. And again, it's a medium. It's the exact same thing. Uh, just a new one, even the packaging, it feels so new, I'm so excited, I haven't used this, so it just looks like that, you can see like the difference of how much I've used this, I love the highlighter on this, but since I have been trying out a few different things, um, I still have a lot of this on my contour kit, but yeah, both of them are medium, and I just... I just love this. This is probably one of the best contour powders I own. And it's it's great. I just love it. So still on the packaging. I didn't want to lose the packaging because I love the packaging. And now on to some eyebrow things. I got the... I don't know how they're called because I completely forgot. They're called the Eyebrow Stylist, stylist Pencils. Um, I got four in dark which was not supposed two of them were supposed to be light two of them were supposed to be medium and two of them were supposed to be dark but the box was marked as light and the pencil was dark so yeah i don't know what to do about that but whatever if Slick wants to send me four dark pencils i will have to handle with them but whatever i got four darks and two mediums um these pencils have been great. I have been wearing them lately like crazy. I don't know them like crazy. If you can see, which I'm not really sure you can, it's a really kind of felt, well, it's not felt tip, it's a angled kind of brush. It actually makes it easier for you to draw on your eyebrows. Um, the waxy consistency is not that sticky, it's not awful at all. I think it's really nice. The color payoff is pretty, pretty nice. You take a little bit longer doing your eyebrows with this, but it actually makes them look more natural. I don't know how it can be possible. And it also has a spoolie on the other side, but these pencils are great. I recommend this to everyone I can. Okay, now on to palettes. I got several of them. Let me just... Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay, so the ones that are repeated are two awesome palettes that I got. So the first one is Garden of Eden, which the packaging, first of all, from Sleek is beautiful. I love the packaging from Sleek, and I think this one is the one that I have been using. It's just so Sleek. Um, I love that 
about this brand. It just looks like that. This is Garden of Eden. I don't know if I already said that. But they are mineral based eyeshadows and they have a little plastic thing with the names of them. Um, it has a lot of pretty awesome green colors, purples, some kind of rose gold colors, some taupe uh, green, actually green and browns. So it's a really nice combination of colors that it has and it actually looks really good. Uh, slick uh, blushes, how are they called? Eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. And I am actually in love with all of them. They're great. So definitely check them out. I think Garden of Eden is from a limited collection. I'm not really sure though. Um, I will try to link it below if I can still find it. But yeah, Garden of Eden has been one of my favorite palettes. And I got another one of those because I think I might give it to my sister. Depends on how she behaves. So yeah. Then the other one is Bad Girl. This is from the I Divine palettes again, and it just looks like that. It has a lot of purples, uh, silver, black colors. It is really, really nice. It looks great on the eyes. If you want to go a little bit more dramatic on a smoky eye, this is the palette to go. So I thought this was going to be an awesome palette to have for any kind of events and stuff like that. So I love this. And again, I got another one of these. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to my sister or not. I'm still thinking about it. I'm such a bad person. Oop, that fell down. I got a Snapshots palette that if you guys haven't seen the beauty collab thing that I did with my friend, the Beauty by Claudia and Kate Cope, um, I will link it below. She is actually, I think it's this palette that she used, the Snapshot, is that the Snapshot? <laughs> I think she used this exact palette um, to do the the spring summer look type thing so yeah it just looks like that it has a lot of vibrant colors greens turquoise blues oranges which I love this orange is great um, a little bit of a pastel range here just small pastels pink and purple purples but I can't like is this any so it just looks like that. It's a really, really nice. And actually, guys, if you are doing um, your eyeshadows, go ahead and keep this fully. They actually work really nice. And they're really easy to apply with eyeshadows. Um, they actually keep more of the shadow compact onto your eyes. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but it did to me. So I got Vintage Romance, which is one of my favorite palettes. I used it on a date, um, it's kind of embarrassing, I used it on a date and it looked great. I thought the whole combination that I did was amazing and I actually used it as well on my cousin's wedding that happened this weekend, which I will put the, um, the picture here. And uh, yeah, this palette just looks great. It has a lot of gold and pink tones. Obviously, it's vintage romance type thing. So um, it has a lot of kind of romantic-ish kind of colors. And I actually love the names of this. They're called like Parade in Paris, Meet in Madrid, Cart in Cane, Lust in LA, Romance in Rome, Propose in Prague, in Prague. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, Love in London, Forever in Florence, Bliss in Barcelona, Honeymoon in Hollywood, Mary in Monte Carlo, and A Vow in Venice. So I thought the names were really, really nice and actually quite romantic. So, I, great job, Sleek, with that palette. Um, I will link my blog post to all of these palettes below so you guys can check out some swatches and uh, see colors and stuff like that. And then the last one I got, and this one it's called Ultra Mats 52, I think B2. I don't know how buys two something. Um, and it actually it's again a dark type of palette, but it actually has a lot more range of colors. It has dark greens, purples, kind of these maroony terracotta kind of color. I think this is great. Has blues. I think this palette is just great. Amazing to do any kind of matte look. If you 
you can actually take this with another palette and it will make every look perfect and they actually have really cool names guys I, I, I love the names of this so yeah I think that's it all of the things that I got from Sleek I hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next video bye